Hi there, this is Mr. Boyd. If your Windows 10 computer has become noisy and painfully slow, it is most likely suffering from high RAM and CPU usage. There are many reasons for high RAM and CPU usage in Windows 10, ranging from device drivers becoming outdated or corrupted to various apps running in the background and using up excessive resources. Okay, let's begin. The first on our list is making changes to the registry to disable Runtime Broker. The Runtime Broker is a Windows system process which helps to manage app permissions on your PC between Windows apps and ensures apps are behaving themselves. Open Run through the Win plus R key combo and type Reget it. Click Yes to open Registry Editor. In Registry Editor, go H key underscore local underscore machine forward slash system forward slash current control set forward slash services forward slash time broker SVC and double click on start to change its D word value from three to four. Once done, reboot your PC for the changes to take effect, after which you will see that there's no process dubbed Runtime Broker. Next on our list is disabling startup apps and services. The more software you install on your computer, the longer it may seem to take to start up Windows. Many programs add themselves to the list of programs started when you boot your computer, and that list can get long. Here's how you can disable startup programs in Windows. To do it, open Task Manager by pressing Control plus Shift plus Escape and go to the fourth tab, Startup. Here, the apps will be listed, along with their impact on the CPU and memory. To disable an app or service, just select it and click on the Disable button, or right-click on the app and select Disable. Keep in mind that you should only disable third-party apps and services because there might be apps and services that are part of Windows, and disabling them might result in problems. Coming next is changing Windows 10 update settings. Windows also tends to share your update with other PCs over the internet. I recommend you to turn it off in Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update, Advanced Options, choose how updates are delivered. Next on our list is adjusting Windows 10 performance settings. Animations and various cool transitions look good, but they also take a toll on your PC's CPU and memory. Thankfully, Windows lets you optimize the effects for the best performance. To optimize Windows 10's performance, go to Control Panel and in the search box, type Performance. From the search results, click on Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. The Performance Options dialog opens up, and in the Visual Effects tab, you can either let Windows choose what's best, or Adjust for Best Performance, or Adjust for Best Appearance, or you can disable Enable Any Effects manually under Custom. In the Advanced tab, you can even choose to allocate processor resources for best performance of either programs or background services. Next on our list is turning off Windows Spotlight. Windows Spotlight automatically sets cool Bing search images as your lock screen wallpaper. It does look cool, but it also runs in the background, taking up resources, so it's best to turn it off. To disable it, right-click on your desktop and select Personalize. Then, on the left side, click Lock Screen. After that, change the background from Windows Spotlight to a picture. Coming next is defragmenting your hard disk drives. Optimizing your drives can help your PC run smoother and boot up faster. Click your Start button. Then, search for Defragment. Select Defragment and Optimize Drives. Then, select the disk drive you want to optimize. Next, click the Optimize button. Next on our list is modifying the memory management system. On Windows 10, virtual memory, or paging file, is an essential component designed to remove and temporarily store less frequently used modified pages allocated in RAM, random access memory, to the hard drive. Using this approach allows the system to prioritize faster physical memory for more frequent processes and applications, improving the overall performance and preventing the device from locking up in the event it runs out of system memory. It is recommended that you create a system restore point on your computer before following the steps to make changes to registry values on your computer. Press together Windows button plus R to open the Run window. Type Reget it in the Run command window and click on OK. On Registry Editor screen, navigate to 
hkey underscore local underscore machine forward slash system forward slash current control set forward slash control forward slash session manager and click on memory management one folder. In the right pane, double click on clear page file at shutdown. On the edit D word value screen that appears, change the value of clear page file at shutdown from zero to one and click on OK. Restart your computer in order to apply this change on your device. Next on our list is preventing apps from running in the background. Apps like OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, Skype, and other have an inherent tendency to start up with a computer and keep running in the background. Go to Settings, Privacy, and then select Background Apps in the left pane. In the right pane, toggle off the option to let apps run in the background. This will prevent apps from running in the background and unnecessarily using up resources on your computer. And the last on our list is simply reboot your computer. Save your work and restart your PC. Turn it off and on again is classic troubleshooting advice for a reason. This may resolve the issue, especially if it's been a long time since you last restarted. A reboot can clear out temporary files and potentially resolve slowdown in long-running processes. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. See you in the next video.